Hi, my name is Nick Price, and I'm the Associate Product Manager for Chemistry for Mary U Nutrisciences, and I'm here today to give you five fun facts about dioxins. Fun fact number one, dioxins exist because of us. So what does that mean? So while dioxins are a result of natural activity, such as forest fires and volcanoes, the vast majority of dioxins are produced uh, because of human activity. So think large-scale combustion processes such as municipal waste incineration, uh, car exhaust, factory emissions, and even things like uh, the chlorine bleaching of paper products produce dioxins. Fun fact number two, dioxins do not go away easily. So dioxins are actually part of a larger class of compounds called persistent organic pollutants meaning they're extremely resistant to chemical and biological breakdown. Once produced, they're carried by the wind and rain and eventually rivers and lakes, so they persist in the environment for decades. Their half-life in the human body is actually estimated at 7 to 11 years. Fun fact number three. Dioxins are very toxic, but there is really no need for the average consumer to be overly concerned. So about 95% of our dioxin exposure is through food. The compounds are taken up from the environment by plants, which are then consumed by animals, which are then ultimately consumed by humans. So while 95% may sound like a large number, in fact, we're talking about 95% of a very small amount. So this is actually referred to as background exposure by the World Health Organization and is not a major cause for concern. Fun fact number four, although the average consumer shouldn't be overly concerned, we should be monitoring dioxin levels in both the environment and the food supply. So the scientific consensus is that although we have a pretty good understanding of the toxicity, we really need to better understand where and how these compounds are distributed throughout the environment. A number of global incidents have occurred in recent decades that have sparked this concern. For example, in the mid 90s in the US, high levels of dioxins were found in the routine monitoring of chicken fat samples. Uh, the contamination was eventually traced back to a mined ingredient called ball clay. Looking at a more global scale, in the late 90s in Belgium, an incident happened in which animal feed was contaminated uh, with transformer oil that contained dioxins. Uh, this resulted in a US ban of poultry and pork products for a period of time and actually cost the Belgian economy over 1 billion euros. And finally, fun fact number five. Requirements for testing vary by government and commodity. In the US, California cites dioxins as known carcinogens in Prop 65, but there are actually no federal maximum limits or requirements to test for food products. However, FDA and USDA do conduct routine monitoring, and it is a wise practice for companies working with high-risk ingredients or products to do some degree of monitoring. In fact, many US companies adhere to EU, which has set limits for dioxins for various high-risk commodities. Again, I'm Nick Price with Mary U Nutrisciences. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully you learned a little bit about dioxins.